Top road with traffic, tanker 74, 10 miles to the north, landing the overhead left traffic, 1-9 or Paso. Today we head into wine country to one of our favorite airports, Paso Robles Municipal Airport. And as you can see in the distance, there's a small fire and the call you just heard is Cal Fire Air Tanker that was attacking this fire right on our tail coming into land. So why do we like this airport so much? Well, we've seen C-130s, A-400s, Blackhawks land here, which left us just awestruck. Really is just one of the most peaceful airports that you can visit. We visit it every time as a pit stop, whether we're going up north or we're coming back down south. There are two runways, 0119 at 6,000 by 150 feet and 1331, slightly shorter at 4,700 by 100 feet, both long enough to land most GA aircrafts. And they are justified in having two runways because not only do the winds change in all directions, it can get pretty gusty at times. And since this is really close to the Central Valley, in the summer we have been there with temperatures as high as 118 degrees. Unfortunately, on that 118 degree day is when we finally decided to visit Estrella Warbird Air Museum, which I can't recommend enough. Now, it does have some jets, but what makes it uniquely amazing is its armory exhibit, which has cross sections of different artillery. And even better, you can park your plane at the museum. Just call ahead for instructions so they know to expect you. And suffice it to say, we're going to go back. It was too hot to enjoy anything outside that day. We put a link to the museum's website in the description below. So as you see, we scurried off the runway just because we wanted to get out of the air tanker's way. We didn't know if they were coming back to refuel or refuel retardant. So either way, we were just trying to get out of their way. Now, an interesting fact about Paso Airport is that it is on track to be a horizontal spaceport, which will include renovations to the runways and will be used by a couple of nearby schools to send cube satellites to space. Not only that, but there is construction underway to bring in more businesses. Paso is definitely investing in the future of this airport, and that's music to our ears. Directly ahead is Cal Fire Air Base, and they're extremely busy during the summer. We've seen both the OV-10A, aka Bronco, and the Grumman S2 tankers here. Living in SoCal, you can't help but to be so thankful for Cal Fire. We've personally been evacuated from our home during a wildfire, and it was extremely scary and draining. We literally left our home thinking we were going to lose everything since we could see towering flames no more than maybe 100 feet away. Fortunately, our home was safe, all thanks to CAL FIRE and our local fire departments. Even though Paso is no longer a military base, you'd never know it with all the military planes that still use it, especially during red flag exercises. Which if you didn't know, are military exercises that normally involve a variety of fighters training for it. Attack strikes, air superiority, enemy air defense, airlifts, air refueling, and reconnaissance missions. So California is inundated with military aircraft, which includes 
Paso Robles. Seriously, if you like military aircraft, it's like being a kid at a candy store. And if you wait until the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. We found the cafe One Niner Diner, which is a great name by the way, to be a good stop for lunch. We've only been there once, mostly because we're usually here after they've already closed, which is daily at 2 p.m. The FBO on the field is ACI Jets and it's in the terminal building. If you need a car, they might have a crew car for short local trips, but if you need something longer, rentals are available, but call ahead because they get them from San Luis Obispo. And there is self-service fuel if you keep taxing on Echo and make a right on Delta. Now transient parking has about 17 spots and they all have tie down chains. It can get pretty full at times, but we've never had a problem finding any parking. All right, checklist time. Did you learn anything about Paso? If so, please give it a like. Don't wanna miss our next airport for you to visit? Consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions about Paso, or maybe want us to visit an airport we haven't done yet, please leave a comment. And speaking of comments, thanks to a viewer of our Sedona video, Joyce, for suggesting we start adding transportation information. Keep the suggestions coming, aviators. Now, remember when I talked about the red flag exercises? Sometimes, and includes our friends across the Atlantic.